and welcome to Kids Alive Church. This is Buddy the Zebra, and I'm Teacher Joanna, and we are continuing our series on the parables that Jesus told. Now we talked about a few parables in the past, but today we're talking about something called the speck and the log. Do you know what that means? That means a speck is like a little piece of dust. And a log is like a big piece of wood. Now let's see what Jesus says about this story. It's taken from Matthew chapter 7, verse 3 to 5. And it goes like this. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take that speck out of your eye? when all the time there is a plank in your own eye. You hypocrite! First, take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Now, what does that mean? Does Jesus really mean that there is dust in, some, in somebody's eye and there's a big stick sticking out of your eye? No, that is not what he means at all. Actually, he was talking about judging. Jesus was talking about judging others, judging those around us. Now, we as human, we tend to do that quite a lot. We look at someone and we say, Oh yeah, this person is doing this and that and misbehaving and disobeying and not listening to mommy, not listening to daddy. But we don't see that we ourselves have a lot of bad stuff in our own life. So Jesus is telling us to actually get rid of bad stuff in our life first and then we can help those around us. Now three things we can do. The first is to be kind. We need to learn to be kind to one another. Now. I think God is testing a lot of us now that we are home, right? It's very easy to be kind to your classmates. It's very easy to be kind to your teachers. I know some of you, when your teachers come with their heavy bags, you will run and say, teacher, teacher, can I help you? Right? It's very easy to do that. But what about in your own house? When daddy comes back with all the groceries during this COVID-19 season and mommy is busy cooking in the kitchen and your little brother is struggling with his homework, are we kind enough to put down what we're doing and go and help daddy or help mommy or help your little brother? So we must first learn to be kind to those around us, yeah? Number two, we need to learn to forgive. It's very easy to see fault in the other person, right? Yes, we are human. So it's very easy when somebody has wronged us and we get upset. Oh, this person has done this against me. He's called me a bad word. I'm not going to speak to him ever again. (gasps) But you know what? Jesus said to forgive. To forgive Jesus You know that Jesus was hanging on the cross And he looked up to heaven And he said God forgive them Do you think those people said Sorry ah Jesus We're hanging you on the cross No They didn't But Jesus still Said Forgive Them So number two We have to learn To forgive Those around us And number three Don't Judge Judge not. Don't judge. What does that mean to judge? I'm not a judge. I don't wear a big wig and I'm not a judge. I don't sit there with a gavel in my hand, do I? To judge, to not judge means to say, to if somebody has done something wrong, we don't say, oh, this person uh, is a very bad person. They always tell lies one. They always steal one. They always disobey one. Jesus said, don't judge. Because when we judge people for their sins, we will also be judged. So let God be the judge. We are not God, right? We are not God. 
And so we should not judge people around us. We just settle ourselves before God and God will take care of the rest for us. Okay, so number one, be kind. Number two, forgive. And number three, don't judge. And now Gabrielle is going to tell us our memory verse for this week. Thank you, Teacher Joanna. Today's memory verse is Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God has forgiven you. Ephesians 4 verse 32 Okay, thank you so much, Gabrielle. That was really nice. I love how she says it. So this is the memory verse, Ephesians 4 verse 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. So guys, I hope you all are blessed by today's lesson. I hope that you will learn to be kind to one another. It's so important. I love you guys and I will see you in discussion later. So ready to say goodbye, buddy? Yeah. Bye, guys!